हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एट होम सो टुडे आई एम हियर विद वन ऑफ द चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर हनी कॉम टेक्स्ट बुक द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज गोपाल एंड द हिल्स अफिश लेट्स प्रोसीड फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द स्टोरी गोपाल गोपाल्स वाइफ द किंग and the courtiers the genre of the story is comics so here is an interesting story with some awesome artwork comic strips have been a part of a popular literature since the past century there have been very successful comic strip writers and comic strip characters many such characters have found their way into movies and have created their own universe one such example is marvel comics which has created the marvel cinematic universe the creator of its popular character was the late stanley stanley wrote and co-created spider-man thor x-men and many more memorable characters he was inducted in the will eisner award hall of fame in 1994 and the jack kirby hall of fame in 1995 He also received the National Medal of Arts in 2008. So, are you ready for this amazing, amazing form of storytelling? It was the season for Hilsa fish, and it was Hilsa that everyone was talking about. In the market, fishmongers were selling only Hilsa fish, luring customers to buy it. even in the royal court courtiers were talking about hilsa fish this made the king lose his temper he believed that no one could stop the people from talking about hilsa fish not even gopal who was the wisest man in, in his court the king challenged gopal to buy a huge hilsa fish and bring it to the palace without anyone asking him about it Gopal accepted the challenge and told him that he could bring a huge hilsa without anyone discussing a word about it. After a few days, Gopal shaved beard from half of his face and smeared ash on himself. He wore rags and looked disgraceful. His wife was shocked and asked him not to leave home like this, but Gopal kept on telling her that he was going to buy a huge hilsa fish. She thought Gopal had gone mad. At the market, Gopal bought a huge hilsa fish and started walking towards the palace. On the way, people started pointing at him and laughed at his comical appearance. People started calling him without different names. Some called him a madman and and the others called him a mystic. However, Gopal didn't object as this was his plan. When he finally reached the palace the guards asked him what he wanted Gopal said he wanted to see the king the guards denied entry after taking a look at his shabby appearance after he couldn't go in he started singing and dancing inside the palace the noise of commotion was causing the king great discomfort he finally ordered the guards to let the madman in When Gopal came in everyone was astonished to see him like that the king questioned Gopal about the reason for his weird attire Gopal reminded the king about the challenge and told him that from the market to the royal palace no one had asked him a single word about the hilsa fish the king burst into laughter and accepted that Gopal had done the impossible once more The king praised him for his wit and congratulated him for achieving the impossible. Like this Gopal won the challenge that was given by the king proving his wisdom to everyone. After knowing the summary of this chapter we should know the moral of the story. People talk about whatever new there is to talk about. If we are clever like Gopal we can control what other people talk about. So This is all about this chapter Gopal and the Hilsa fish. If you have any query feel free to ask. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.